so this is the shout out Saturday video that's actually being done on Sunday because I forgot and I was busy I went to an auction yesterday and uh, I forgot and uh, I started doing other things until last night I was like wait a minute it's Saturday I forgot to do the video but uh, I'll give you guys a little update and then we'll get into the shout out video inside the barn it's actually somewhat decent a little windy out but it ain't too bad but uh, we'll start off with the 350 uh, JC knows that this truck was supposed to be sold and it's still sitting here like two weeks later so um, I have given up hope of selling it and uh, I think we're gonna keep it because like I said, I'm at the price point on it now where I might as well just keep it. I put a transmission in it for $1,500 and it's a good truck. So, I mean, we'll redo the rear end and stuff because it makes noise. But I'm at the point where I'm just going to keep it. I'm tired of dealing with everybody. The guy that was supposed to buy it got called to work out of state. And he didn't know how long he was going to be gone. And he told me which pretty much gave away that he's probably not interested anymore, was if I get any interest in it, to let it go. So, um, I'm just going to keep it. You know what? Might as well. Just like the H. I'm going to keep the H. It's at the price point where uh, I might as well just keep it. I ain't losing nothing. I ain't making nothing. I'm just going to keep it. So, let's... Uh, Show you guys the cows. There's the boys. That's the one that had the bloat. Come here, buddy. Let's see if let me touch him. Oh, okay. You're still coughing. You boys want to enjoy a little sunshine today? It is somewhat kind of nice out. I need to find me a little skid steer or something. This barn's going to be a pain to clean when uh, it gets a lot of pen pack on it. Well, it's that time of the year. Time of the year. Easy does it. Throw you guys some feed. Now I just started to mix my uh, old goat feed. And that's all about all I'm giving them, plus hay. And then a little bit of the goat feed. chicken likes to get in there this is what's left of my goat feed now I've, since I'm introducing it to him I only give him just a little bit just to get him going on it and then we'll probably switch over to a feed like that I was watching Visa cattle company and he's doing uh, a barley oat corn powder mix I don't know, I might try something like that. We'll see, I don't think he's got his test results back to see what it's like, but uh, I want to experiment with some feed. It's different feeds. My grandpa's always fed into basically what my goat feed is, the uh, oat. Well, he doesn't use oats most of the time. He just does corn and um, uh, Golden Dairy 33 supplement. I added the oats for a little... Uh, diversity and then we put molasses in it and then I started putting in uh, Kalmbach show and glow which I might continue to do that just not a 50 pound bag because I think that's what's uh, making the powder it's uh, um, degrading I guess it's either that or it's the molasses or the, the 33 pellets I think it started to do it when it got really warm. So, but 
the leaves are off the trees now. It's, it's crazy. This year it seems like it was summer, then all of a sudden, flip of the switch, it's like winter time. There was no nice, beautiful fall days. It was from hot to cold, flip of a switch. So, yeah, let me go. I got a cable in the back of my car from work. I am the uh, reuse, recycle guy at work. So whenever they got something that they're going to throw away that's got life in it, like this cable, I take it because I can use it. I got to clean my car out. That's a project for today. I'm only going to be out here for a little bit. And then, uh, me and Casey are going up to Sam's Club and going to go out for a meal. Let me tell you, if you guys ain't got muck boots, you need to get you a pair. I use these for work. Thinking about buying me a pair for the farm. Yeah, I get cable like this all the time from work and straps. Um, the problem with this one is one of the inner cords broke and is pushed out and it's considered unsafe for where I work so I can bring it here I can pull tractors out with it uh, for those of you that don't know I'm doing a farm cleanup project right now on the side and there's some concrete silos that need to come down and right over here on the other side of the truck there's 450 foot of cable you got the, uh, we got these cranes at work, and the boom line that they used to raise and lower the boom was starting to wear. And the boss told me, I said, hey, can I have like 20 feet of that? I want to make a cable for pulling equipment out at home. He said, well, if you take one foot of it, you might as well take all 450 feet of it. Well, he said, you have to take all 450 feet. There was no might as well. It was take it or don't. So I took it all. And uh, I think I'm going to use that to put it at the top of the silo to uh, help guide it down. But anyways, we'll go into the shop here. I got the uh, combine pulled up here. I want to start working on it sometime. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the engine out of it. Because it needs the radiator fixed and everything. I'm going to pull the engine out of it and do the gaskets and everything on the engine out of the combine so I don't have to climb up and down the ladder and it's not much to take the engines out of them things so but oh you guys haven't seen that yet I'm actually oh well that oil leaked out I think there wasn't nothing important there um I just started this and the videos I just started the video for it uh, this is the Super C that sits outside. And uh, I'm not going to talk about it because I got a video that I'm... It's, if it's not going to be up today, it'll be up throughout the week sometime. But what we're going to do today... What I'm doing today is doing the shout-out Saturday and organizing. You can see I brought these two um, shelves over here. They were in the other room of the barn. I got another one I'm going to put there. And I'm just putting stuff in there, organizing this disaster up because it's winter time and winter time is project time. So, let me get my board. I got to find where I put it. Okay, it's on the hood of the truck. And uh, write down who we're shouting out today and uh, get on with it. All right, so I want to stand behind the camera today because the shop's a little cramped now that I have all these projects in here. But uh, first, we're going to start off with Jay Paydirt. Um... He's a bigger channel. He's 15 or 20,000 subs or something like that. But I enjoy watching his channel. Um, he does construction out in Idaho. A lot of older cat equipment. He's got, I think his newest piece is a uh, 336 cat excavator. Um, I think he bought that brand new. But he has a really good channel. He's where I got the idea for the whiteboard. And uh, he he's really, really good at... Uh, subscriber appreciation and viewer appreciation and stuff like that uh, if you like old construction equipment 
check out his channel for sure. Um, I'm sure probably a lot of you do, because like I said, he's a bigger channel. And I'm not just going to shout out little channels. This is more for the channels I like to watch that somebody else may like to watch also. Um, but check him out. Next, we have Farmer Pete. He's got a small farm in Pennsylvania. He just recently got a John Deere 3300 combine, and I actually found him when I was getting my gleaners. Uh, Scott's Small Farming and Things actually sent me a link to his channel on how he got his combine home. I believe he's in Pennsylvania. Yeah, pretty sure. And uh, that's how I found his channel. Uh, he's got some older internationals and some other uh, miscellaneous tractors. Uh, I'm, I can't remember if he's a subscriber or not. I think he might be. If you are, thanks for subscribing, Farmer Pete. If you're not, uh, well, thanks for watching anyways. I know you've commented on at least one of my videos, if not two. Um, but check him out. And then uh, next we have Do Farms a Bit. He, his channel, he's done a lot of restoration. He restored a, or, uh, a Ford. I don't remember the model. Uh, and he restored a Dearborn combine, pull type combine. And right now he's doing an Oliver combine. And uh, he's got a little small farm. He's got kind of a mixed variety channel going on. It's, it's a neat little channel. Um, I don't know how long his channel is going to be around. He uh, just put up a video. It might be, uh, might be taking it down. He, uh, he wasn't for sure. But uh, check it out before, uh, before it does go down if it's going to. Um, I don't know what the uh, circumstances are there, but uh, whatever it is, do. I uh, hope everything works out for you. Uh, he is a subscriber, and uh, thanks for subscribing. And he said he would continue to watch and uh, everything. He just wouldn't uh, comment or post any more videos. But uh, a couple people have called him the Combine MacGyver. I think Soybean Farmer might have started that. I don't remember, but uh, I know I call him it all the time, and uh, pretty soon I'll be the, the second combine MacGyver because I got these two gleaners to do, and I got the all crop, but I think the all crop's going to be sold, so um, anyway, check out Dew Farms a bit, he's up, up Washington, Oregon area, somewhere up there. Um, next we have Commonwealth Farms, it's a small farm. I subscribed to their channel like a week or so ago, and uh, they don't post too many videos, and I can't remember some of the videos I watched, but I know it was a real interesting channel. They had uh, like a 10-foot Great Plains bean drill, um, and really that's all I can remember. I don't remember what tractors he's running. It's a small little farm. I don't even know where it is. But check it out. Um, I was I thought it was going to be a neat, interesting channel, and uh, maybe you guys will too. And then last for this week, most of you probably know this guy. It's Massey 1105 driver, and I think he's going to have to change his name because he just bought another Massey, and it's not 1105. I don't remember what it is. It's 11 something. 1135. I don't remember. But he's actually not too far from me. And I keep trying to meet up with him when I'm up his way. And it just never works out. Um, I was going to say, I might be at an auction this coming weekend up by him. But it's not. It's actually a little bit further away. than It's closer to me than it is to him. But he's got a small farm. Uh, he doesn't post a lot. But he comments a lot. He, uh, he follows most of the guys that I follow. Or that follow me. Or... He, he's got a lot of channels, and if he would do this kind of video, he would probably have a lot more channels that I don't even know of, because he's pointed out quite a few channels to me that I've never even heard of, and I'm like, why haven't I been following these people? But uh, check his channel out. He, he does have some, some videos up. Uh, like I said, not a lot, but the videos that are up are pretty good videos. Uh, he talks about how he got into farming and everything. 
Um, but yeah, that's uh, it for the subscriber Saturday. Shout out Saturday. And I did have one person uh, not follow the rules. And I don't know if it was on last week's video or the first video, but somebody asked me to shout them out and it was some channel that I couldn't even find after I looked it up, but they uh, they got a no for that. So uh, anyways, hopefully next Saturday we can do this again if I don't forget, not on a Sunday, but like I said, I am going to an auction uh, next weekend and I went to an auction yesterday to look at a uh, 1977 C65 Chevy dump truck tandem axle and uh, it sold for more than I wanted to pay for it. The cab was shot but I thought about making my C65 a tandem axle because that truck had a bigger GVW. But that auction was kind of crappy and I'll never go to another one of them auctioneers auctions again because he was absolutely horrible. If he was trying to sell this farm all he'd start it off at 3000 then he'd go down by 500 but he wouldn't just go down you know if he'd say it out nobody bid on it he wouldn't just drop the price no he'd sit there and he'd gnaw on that price for a little bit then he'd go down 500 and he'd gnaw on that price for a little bit go down on that price you know most of these older tractors start off at like 500 bucks because they're worth maybe 1500 depending on their condition well he would start them off at 3000 and he'd go down by 500 it'd take him i'm not kidding you two minutes to get down to 500 if somebody didn't yell out their bid first like with the dump truck it was butt cold yesterday he started the dump truck off at 2000 i was only going to pay 300 for it it sold for 750 and he was gnawing on 2000 for a minute i ain't joking and i yelled out 200 and he actually got mad at me for yelling out 200 so uh i ain't going to go to any more of his auctions i don't care if he's got the rarest piece on earth i won't be there he can sell it <clears throat> without me so anyways that's enough yakking i got some things to do because i only got probably i got another hour out here at the shop before i gotta leave and uh so yeah we'll catch you on the next one